Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports. Bobcat fever at a fever pitch with good reason. The men's hockey team taking home the school's first ever national title. We were in Hamden for the celebration. And listen, Captain Zach Metza bringing that trophy out to a raucous crowd. Nearly capacity. They were lined up for hours. But trust me, there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this. We spend a lot of time here at the rink together, uh, whether it's practices, workouts, um, and just like kind of in between that and off the ice, like we're, we're, we're a band of brothers. Since we've, you know, catapulted in the top 20, top 10, I, I knew we could win a national championship. I know it's really hard. It's difficult to get to the Frozen Four. My expectations have changed as, as the program has grown incrementally over years, but um, you know, now we, you know, we feel like we can compete every year. Uh, we always talk about like if we come back, like we're going to come back as a group and we're going we're gonna to get this done. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy that we did it. They aren't the only students who had a big weekend. Let's go back to Tampa real quick. Sound up. Looking in a pass. A move down there. They score. They score. Jacob Quillen has won the national championship for the Quinnipiac Bobcats. The first in their history. The Bobcats have done it all. They slayed the dragon. The Bobcats are going to Hampton. National champions. Matthew Mugno with the call on, w, well, on QBSN, the campus broadcast station. Not too bad, kid.